Hello there everybody, I'm mhopper 94 back again with another video, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can play games like The Elder Scrolls Arena on your phone using RetroArch. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the game now for reasons uh, for not wanting to get in trouble or any risk of getting in trouble. I cannot disclose where to get the game, that's entirely up to you with my Google search. But as soon as you do get the game, you're going to want to go to files because you want to go to find it and nine times out of ten when you go to get the game it will be found in your downloads folder right here and I'm going to look for the Elder Scrolls Arena in this case so here it is right here between Beat Busters and Alien 3 what you're going to want to do and this is just if you want to I prefer doing this this way that way you're more than likely to find the game uh, you're going to want to go down to move between copy and share and you're going to want to move this over to on my iPhone there will be a folder here called retro arch go into that folder as well and go into the games folder now like I said this is entirely up to you whether if you want to do this I prefer doing this that way I'm actually uh, more than likely to actually find the game and put it in the playlist so I made two folders one of which is called arcade games and the other one is called DOS games so you're gonna wanna put the game in here these are all my DOS games right here like uh, Daggerfall, Arena, Wolfenstein 3D okay <clears throat> now that that's done you're gonna wanna go into RetroArch let's straighten up a little bit there we go Okay. Now, there's actually two ways of doing this. Now, in the, one of the recent updates that RetroArch put out for the app is it allows you to play DOS games, of course, and that's why you're here. So, what you're going to want to do, like I said, there's two ways of doing this, so I'm going to show you one way of doing this. If this is if you want to play the game outright, is go to Load Content, go to Open, and it will show everything that you've downloaded here in the downloads folder in the recents. So I'm going to want to go to Elder Scrolls Arena. Now instead of Browse Archive, you're going to want to go to Load Archive. Scroll all the way down until you see DOS. This will be using DOSBox Pure. Run it. Okay. Now. If you know anything about DOSBox, you'll know that you'll have to launch the uh, execution file. So in this case, it's going to be arena.bat. And here we go. Uh, this is actually running the floppy disk version. Weird taste in my mouth for some reason. But yeah, this is the floppy disk version of the game running on my iPhone. My controls are a bit wonky because this is normal this is not the version I normally play, but yeah, here it is. Um, the Elder Scrolls Arena running on the iPhone. Just playing it outright. And this will also be in your uh, recent folder for when you want to go back to it and also you can also put it in your favorites folder if you want to do that as well yeah, moving around, moving the mouse around uh, swinging the sword yeah so that's actually one way now another way and this is just so you can actually get it into the DOS box playlist uh, you're gonna blah, blah. I am so sorry I cannot talk right now um, you're gonna want to go to manual scan content directory now it'll be under documents retro arch now here you're gonna want to go to games this is where you set up those two folders go to DOS games and then after that go to scan this directory so that's done now what you're gonna want to do is change this from content directory over to DOS underneath Doom 
And so what this will do is any games that it finds in that directory, it will actually put it in the DOS playlist. And the rest of this is just optional if you want to do that. So now what you're going to want to do is do start scan. All right, scan complete. This should make the playlist with all the games that you have in the folder. <clears throat> so now that that's all said and done, you're going to want to click the game of your choosing. Now, depending on which version you're running, they should have already patched this. I am not entirely sure, but just in case, I'm going to point this out because this did happen at first, so if you go to run the game the first time and it says there's no available cores, there is one way around that that I personally found out. So, you're going to want to go to Settings on the way to the left, go to Playlist. Now, underneath that, go to Manage Playlist, go to the DOS Playlist, and I'll go all the way down to Default Core scroll all the way down until you reach DOS, which is DOSBox Pure. Now what this will do is essentially it will run any game in that playlist using that core. You don't have to set it, you don't have to fiddle around with it, it will all be using that core straight out of it. So since mine is already set accordingly, I'm just going to change that back. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to play the Elder Scrolls Arena Deluxe Edition, which is, as, which is actually the CD version of it. Now, since everything's all good, everything's all set, the core is set, game is ready, I can just push run. Now, the CD version has a lot more stuff here, but what I'm going to want to do is push arena.bat, which is the very first one at the top. And there we go. The Elder Scrolls Arena is now running on my phone, and the CD base and the CD version, no less. So, right analog stick is my mouse. And here we go. The CD version of the Elder Scrolls Arena is now running on my iPhone. Now, I did I did note in the last video of me playing uh, the Elder Scrolls Arena on my phone is that the emulation is a bit shoddy as well as the sound, but there is a way to improve the gameplay performance. So go to the quick menu right here, scroll all the way down to core options, and now in here you're going to want to go to performance. Go to ele uh, emulated performance. It will default to auto, which is what is slowing the game down. So what you're going to want to do is go to max. This will speed the game up to normal speed, uh, normal performance, and the, so forth. It won't affect the sound, though. The sound is still going to be a bit stuttery. But the game will play just fine how it should normally play. Now, if you really want the game to run smoothly in terms of swigging your sword and so forth, um, you're going to want to go to Input and go down to Mouse Sensitivity. Ugh. So, for me, personally, I put Mouse Sensitivity to 200%. This is just so I don't have to hold down the Speed Up button and swing the mouse around or swing the analog stick around just to swing the sword. So that being said, now down to the controls. Now this is entirely up to you with what you want to do. So with me, I chose for the mouse to be on the right analog stick and my movement is going to be on the left analog stick. So of course the D-pad is going to be your standard movement. The face buttons, of course, is going to be whatever you want. The select button is going to be escape and the start button is going to be enter. Now for me personally, I put L1 as speed up, R1 is slow down. The left trigger, or L2 in this case for me, is going to be left click, and the right trigger for me is going to be right click, or R2 in this case. 
Now the L3 is going to be your virtual keyboard. That's something you bring up for when you want to type something in or do certain commands like shift to J to jump forward and so forth. R3 is going to be left alt and this is for the left analog stick. This is going to be your movement. Now you can actually change the configuration settings under this. Now there will be an option for you to actually save the configuration settings for this game alone. And you can do this for all sorts of games as well, Daggerfall, Wolfenstein 3D, just all sorts of other stuff. Now with that being said, everything's all good, everything's all dandy. You can actually move around, you can actually play the game, swing your sword, move the cursor around, let's click on the portrait, brings up the stats. Right now I'm only level 6, but that's gonna change sometime later. Do I even have uh, I don't think I actually have a chest plate. Hmm. Okay. But anyway. So yeah, this has been the arena or Elder Scrolls Arena running on my iPhone. This is a really neat emulation app that they actually put in the App Store. Um, they can run all sorts of things like Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64, Sony PlayStation, PSP, all that. But not everything is available. Ugh, excuse me. Not everything is available. And if you want to see what games are compatible, and I had to discover this for myself because of the arcade games that I wanted to play, you go all the way to the left to the main menu, go all the way down to information, Go to Database Manager. Now say, uh, I want to see what games are compatible for the arcade section. So I scroll all the way down. Now you're not going to want to go down to MAME. The core that it uses is Firebreak Neo, or in this case, uh, FB Neo Arcade Games. That's the core that it uses. And now this will be a list of all the games that are compatible with that emulator. So if I want to say play Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, go all the way down to the S's. S E, here we go. And here it is, Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. Got two versions of it. So yeah, just always refer to that list in case you want to see what games are compatible, what isn't compatible, so that uh, you're more than likely going to be able to play that game right outright. But with that being said, I'm going to end the video here before I ramble on any longer. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been How to Get the Yellow Scrolls Arena working on your iPhone using RetroArch. If you guys like what you see and you want to see more, why not subscribe today and leave a like down below. If you have any opinions you would like to share, then why not comment down below as well. And I will see you guys around in the next video. This is M Hopper 94, like always, signing off.